never want to don't want to meet you yo oh hey guys so today i've got a full bottle review i was pretty excited about kind of sharing this so we're going into summer we're going from spring to summer and you know a lot of people might want some budget fragrances so i thought um it'd be a good idea to review this one so i got this for like 25 pounds and it's chrome united by azaro so it's a flanker of the chrome line by azaro which is a famous line um and basically this is a cheapie and it's been out for a while but you know it's nothing groundbreaking but i really recommend this kind of thing sometimes like you might want this to try it out for like you know 2024 summer you might want something that's 25 quid you know everything's so expensive these days so i was really looking for this and i'm really happy to kind of have this in my collection now this is a flanker basically of the azaro chrome line so the chrome line is a classic line which started from the original chrome for men so the original was like a summer fragrance again and it looked kind of so i've got the intense version of that so the bottle would look kind of like this but this one's like a lot more blue the juice but i think the original azaro chrome would kind of be a lighter color of this kind of liquid and it wouldn't have that intense writing there so this is azaro chrome intense which this is the only other one i have so far now the so we're talking about chrome united so but just to go back, I just want to give you a little bit of history about the original Chrome. So the original Chrome was released in 1996, so that's ages ago, that's like 28 years ago or something. The original Chrome had a citrusy, aromatic, woody scent profile with some fresh spiciness. But basically a lot of people say it's metallic and clean. And it's similar to, I guess, the Chrome Intense, which is more intense version of that. Um, I do get, yeah, some of the metallic elements and it's quite aromatic it's quite spicy it's it's kind of i'd say maybe even a bit green i guess um in some way that one and the chrome line has many flankers there's like you can look it up on youtube there's like loads of flankers there's like 10 or 15 or whatever flankers and they're all pretty good they're usually uh, quite fresh they're for summer and they tweak the original dna of Azaro Chrome, but uh, Chrome United. This is this is a different. This is very different from the original smell of Azaro Chrome, and I really like this. I prefer this, to be honest. So this is uh, a fragrance that was released in 2013. It was launched, and it's basically uh, the perfume air for this is Richard I Ibanez, and I hadn't heard of him before. And I haven't really heard of anything that he's done when I looked him up on Fragrantica. Like I couldn't see anything that like obvious that like something cool that he did, which um, I recognized. But that's not to say this is a bad fragrance. Like I think he did a really good job on this and maybe he is a great, I mean, he must be good to like, you know, be able to design something for Azaro. The notes in this are, you got in the top, you got bergamot, coriander and Sichuan pepper. Now. I get a little bit of the coriander, but like it's kind of, it's a very, it's it's well blended. So like you don't really get like a massive pepper note or coriander, it, but the top is fresh and it's a bit spicy and aromatic. So that's where you're getting a nice blend of everything of all of these notes. Now the mid is interesting in this one. So the mid has violet leaf, black tea. Yeah, that's it, violet leaf and black tea. And I think they are prominent, both of those notes. Now, the base has white musk and cedar. So you do get a muskiness in this. It's well blended with everything else. And the cedar has, you know, that gives it like the woodiness to it, which is quite nice, quite masculine. It's really beautiful, this scent. But like I said, the mid in this is the most important element for me. Now, what do I get when I smell this? So let me just refresh my memory. Try to miss my watch there. Don't want to spray it on my watch. Oh yeah, okay, so I forgot how the opening is actually pretty fresh. So yeah, for me, it's all about the mid though. So I'm already getting a bit of the violet, the violet leaf. So with this, you've got 
the mid is like super prominent like i said it, the violet leaf which has like a powerful sort of floor it's not it's floral but it's i don't know it's difficult to explain it's kind of like it's floral but fresh the opening is definitely fresh and but it has a spiciness to it and a, like a citrus feel to it also in the opening and it's slightly ozonic in the opening but it quickly goes into the violet like i can already smell the violet and the musk and the cedar the woodiness it's a very addictive smell i love smelling that like it's it's when I wear this, I wore this yesterday and throughout the day as it lasted, um, I loved smelling it on me and I could, I had this scent bubble around my neck. I could really smell it and I don't get bored of it. I don't get sick of it. It doesn't give me a headache. Whereas this one actually, if I spray too much of the normal DNA and or the intense, which this is, I get a headache. And I, I don't know what note that is. I need to like figure that out. But this doesn't have that effect and you can spray quite a lot with this. Um, it smells like a warm summer day and it reminds me like of a, having a picnic in the park with family or something or friends and you have beautiful flowers around you, you have violet leaves, leaf around you or violet flowers or whatever that they are. And you have a lot of, like the sun is out and it's just a nice day. So that's what it reminds me of. And eventually after like about an hour, you get the black tea note coming in. It's kind of there in the background, but the violet is like stronger than the, the tea note. But eventually the violet dies down a bit, you get the black tea note coming in. And that's beautiful also. I really, I think I really love that. I haven't really had a fragrance with a black tea note like this. So it's quite unique in my opinion in that way. It reminds me of like when I make tea basically, um, this, if you've ever made loose tea, basically, at home, when you boil the water, put it in the loose tea, let it brew for a while, put the milk in, twinings, you know, Yorkshire tea, it reminds me of that smell. If you, like, if you have that at home, if you just have tea bags even, just go and smell them, and it's quite accurate to what that kind of smells like, I would say. So it really gives me that black tea note, which I really like, and it's really relaxing in that way. Because I don't know about you, but when I have tea, I get relaxed sometimes, like even with coffee. So it just reminds me of the relaxing times of having tea. It reminds me of Boss Bottle Infinite. So I don't have it on me right now, um, but I've got that. And that's also a very cozy scent that I could just wear when I'm with family, when I'm going out with family or something, or having dinner with people I know, like close friends and I don't want to overwhelm everyone. It lasts a, a decent amount of time, four to six hours. So it's not like mega projecting at like a beast mode fragrance. It lasts a decent time, four to six hours. It's, yeah, like I said, it's more of a scent bubble. So it, I can smell it, I can smell it. And if somebody's like quite like, you know, gives me a hug or quite close, they would probably smell it. It doesn't have a huge sillage or whatever, but I'm sure people can pick it up. And yeah, I think people would notice it. Well, this is a calm, calming, relaxed fragrance for somebody who just wants to enjoy it themselves, have a relaxed, calm evening and a casual evening. So to me, it reminds me like of a dad fragrance. So like a young dad with a baby kind of scene and um, also a grab and go, go fragrance. So this is, I could wear this at the gym. I, you know, I literally have this in my bag. I could just carry this around and it's cheap even if I mean I hope it doesn't break because that would ruin my back and that actually had happened to me before once with um, a small luckily a small version of a uh, Dior Homme Intense and my bag smelled like Dior Homme Intense for like six months or something but yeah you can carry this around it's a grab and grow fragrance it would work in the gym probably as well it's not too overbearing it's not gonna annoy anyone I would say it's a cinema fragrance, to be honest, also. I can really imagine, you know, going to watch a cool movie. I don't know, uh, I can't remember the last good movie, to be honest, but maybe like Top Gun 2, Top Gun Maverick. Um, so yeah, you're going to, to the cinema, it's nice and air-conditioned, it's a summer day. You go in from the heat to the cold, you, you smell like violet leaves and like freshness and laundry sort of 
but in a unique way and black tea which gives you that calmness and freshness but you have this air conditioning around you you finally feel calm and cool and chilled out you're sipping on your your diet coke or whatever you're in the in the cinema air conditioning's on you have a beautiful scent bubble around you you can smell it you're enjoying it yourself but you're not annoying the person sitting to the side of you they might get whiffs of it they might like it they might be like "Ooh, this guy smells nice but it's not going to annoy anyone it's not in your face that kind of thing and what else yeah so when can you wear this anytime i would say you could even try this in the winter to be honest like always like i I've been watching Gents Sense, who I follow. He's a great reviewer as well. And he was saying, you know, you can wear your fragrances at any time. You can wear them. Wear the summer ones that you think are good in the summer, in the winter, and see how that works for you. Because sometimes you pick up different notes and you might actually like it. You might think, yeah, this is like my signature scent now. I can wear it whenever. So definitely try it. But it's more to me of a spring and autumn fragrance than even a summer fragrance. Um, but I would try it, I would try it. I think in the summer it would project more because if the sun's beating down on you and it heats up the fragrance, it might project even more. So that that's something to try, but I would say it's more of a casual spring and autumn fragrance. Anybody can wear it, but it, it is a little bit youthful. But like I said, it also reminds me of a dad scent. So yeah, like a father with young kids kind of scent. Um, not like a super old person scent but i think to be honest anyone can pull it off but not a super serious or formal person i think a super serious or formal person probably doesn't want to wear this fragrance so i would rate it for, for the smell eight out of ten i love the smell uh but it's not maybe like one of my favorites but i do really like it i would want to keep it in my collection so Pretty good mark, eight out of 10. Longevity, not super long. Like I said, four to six hours, so maybe seven out of 10. And projection, it's not super projecting. So six out of 10, but it doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance. It's a really cool fragrance. It's super cheap. And for that value, 25 pounds, I should just give it an extra point because it's really worth it for 25 pounds if you can find it. So check it out, Azara Chrome United and let me know what you think. If you've tried this, if you want to try this, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.